Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Beta Man Studios. In the last video, we went over uh, basically what the UI was and what all these various options were and what they meant. Um, so now we're going to go over anchors because anchors are pretty cool. So I'm just going to work with what I had before. I have this little button instead of this canvas. Let's create it again just so we can get used to it. Right click, UI, and uh, we can go to canvas and click it. But check this out. If you click button, all of a sudden it comes with a canvas. Awesome. So we have a uh, button and a canvas which don't really want to show up, do they? Uh, let's, let's just see why they don't want to. Let's do canvas, UI, button. Weird. It probably because it was because it just wasn't refreshing. There's this re weird refresh thing that uh, used to happen in NGUI where we do that too. Um, and the guy who wrote NGI wrote most of this, so <laughs> bring his bugs on over. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, so we have a button and we have our text. So what I'm going to do is I want to make this button go to the top left of the screen and I want it to stay in the top left even if we scale up and down and all over the place. So if I go to this button over here you'll see that there's all kinds of controls. There's position, X, Y, Z, there's a width, there's a height, there's a pivot on the X and the Y, there's rotations and scales. So if I want to go to the top left I can click this uh, icon here and I could say top left. So notice here that uh, we have quite a few options and I'll go over what uh, each one of these options are so up here this is the top left notice how the little yellow dot is in the top left this is the top center and it'll make more sense once we do it so I'm gonna go over them quickly uh, this is the top right this is the right this is the bottom right this is the bottom middle bottom left left and this is centered in the canvas um, there's a couple more we have top stretched middle stretched bottom stretched stretched across the entire screen, uh, right stretched, middle stretched, left stretched, and uh, those are the ones that we're going to be working with in this one. So I want to go to the top left, so I'm going to click this thing, top left. Now you'll notice that it has went to the top left, but the button did not go to the top left. And that's because if we look here, all of a sudden our position X and our position Y changes, they're no longer zero. Remember when they were at, uh, this was set to middle, they're at zero. Notice when we select something else, it's going to set their offset. Uh, and we don't want that. We want it to be at zero, zero. Now it's in the top left. Now there is a problem with it being in the top left. The problem is that the pivot, the center point of this button, is in the middle of the button. We don't want it in the middle of the button. We want it in the top left of the button so we can see the whole button. Now there's a pivot X here, and there's a pivot Y here, and you'll see that uh, these little handles are moving when I move these. So what it looks like we want to do here is we want our X to be uh, zero actually because that's what puts it on the left side. So there it is there. And now we have this and if we move this one, if we go up to one, it looks like it's going upwards and if I go down to zero, it goes to the bottom. So to make it at the top left, I want it to be zero on the X and one on the Y for the pivot. Now notice that these numbers got set again. So if I set them to zero and then zero once more, notice that the button is now in the top left. If I pulled out my game view and resized and I let go of the button to refresh the window, you'll see that it stays in the top left no matter what happens here. And I can change the aspect ratio here in the free aspect. It's a free bird. You'll notice that it stays in the top left no matter what. So that's awesome. Uh, that's how we can get our, our button to go up here in the top left. And that's how we can set our uh, pivot point in order to accommodate wherever we need it to be positioned. So if I wanted it to be in the bottom right, uh, you've guessed it, obviously, because that's what you do during videos. You sit there and you guess about it, whatever's happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, oh, well, then the X must be 1 to make it on the right, and the Y must be 0 to make it on the bottom, and then I can set my position to 0, 0. Awesome. Now, there is a couple more things that I want to go over, and that's the width and height. Notice that if I change the width, it's going to change on the left side. However, if I go to the center, I'm not going to set the pivot on this one, and I change the width, it's going to be there too. Oh, it's based on pivot. That's right. All right, so if I put 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, there we go. And we make it in the center. And then I change the width, it's going to change on both sides. So the width is actually based on your pivot um, and not based on 
uh, wherever you set your anchor point. So I'm gonna set this to uh, something new. So something new I want, notice the width is set to uh, 161 and I can change it like this. Let's say that I want the button to stretch across the entire bottom of the screen. Well, I have this bottom here. I'm gonna select that. You'll see what I'm doing wrong here in a moment. Uh, I want it to be at 0 0.5. I want it to be in the middle, that's right. And I want it to be at the bottom. So I'm gonna put zero there. And now I'm gonna put uh, zero here and zero here. Fantastic. Now you think, oh, all I have to do is stretch this out to the width of the screen. Oh yeah, sure, that'll work. Uh, obviously based on my tone, that works. So, but what happens is when I scale it up with the width, it does not keep the scale of the bottom, which is really annoying. Uh, what we want it to do is stretch across the whole bottom and not care about this exact pixel width. So if you remember what I said earlier, there's a bottom stretch here, and that's denoted by the two yellow anchor points on the bottom two corners, and these two in this blue arrow here saying left and right. If I select that, notice that this changes to right and not width. If I put zero on the right, that means there is basically zero padding or there's zero margin on the right. And if this changes uh, to zero, we have zero margin on the left. Now we have it stretched across the entire bottom. I can scale this up, change the scale around, and it's going to fit to that aspect ratio. So that's a little bit about anchors. Uh, I encourage you to play around with these. We uh, just play around with these different anchors, have it attached to the side, make a button that stretches to the right side or something, uh, anything like that. And uh, I will uh, continue on with the next one with a little bit more of these anchor points and what we can do with them uh, just visually without having to explain a whole bunch because we just explained a lot here. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, and uh, please like and subscribe and all that jazz. And until next time, thanks for watching.